Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon today. And we're taking a look at the World 3 construction building, the Death Note. The Death Note is crafted in the construction workbench here and does require orange salts from the refinery and four souls from worship to build. Once you have initially crafted the building, you can continue to upgrade this up to level 50. And each additional level after the first one does give you 2% more multi-kill. So at level 32, 31 additional levels gives me 62% more multi-kill bonus. Each level that you upgrade will require more materials, such as the orange salt and forest souls, and it will require more build time depending on how much your total build rate is. So let's take a look at the Death Note itself now. In the Death Note menu, there is a lot of information here. So as you can see, the, it shows each world and all of their monsters in that world. And on page two shows the Yum Yum Desert, and page three shows the Frostbite Tundra. As more worlds are added, I expect to see more pages in the Death Note. But let's take a look at the other part, which is the left side shows you each monster and shows you the total number of kills that all of your characters combined have currently made on that monster. And it shows you the current icon of how many points you have for that monster. On the bottom here, it does add all of that up for you. So each point you have for each monster for this world gets added up. This means each world will have a different amount of total multi-kill per tier. On the right side here, it shows you the current breakpoints. So at 25,000 kills or more, you gain one point for that monster. At 100,000 kills, you gain two points, and so on and so forth. So the next part is your total points that you gain is actually how much multi-kill you gain per damage tier. And this is shown in the AFK menu. So the more multi-kill you get, the more XP and resources you get from that monster. So taking a look at world one, we're gonna look at spores or the green mushrooms here. And I currently have 75% multi-kill per tier. So let's head over there. So here we are at spores. Let's take a look in the AFK menu here. And there's a couple pieces of information that's important here. First, it shows you your total multi-kill percentage. So I have 1,318%. This means I gain roughly 13 times more XP per hour and drops per hour from this monster. The next is it shows you your monster's HP, and then it shows you your current damage tier. And this is done based on your maximum damage in your character. So we can take a look and see my character has a little over a million damage as the maximum damage number here. Back in the AFK menu, it shows you your current maximum damage at 1.08 million for me currently. So at this point, I have 16 times on the damage tier, working towards 17 times. And this is basically meaning I take my 75% multi-kill per tier times the 16, and that adds up to 1,200% more multi-kill. There are a couple other ways to gain multi-kill per tier, and we can take a look at that next. If you look in your arcade shop, I gain an additional 2.59% multi-kill per tier for another roughly 42%. And you can also gain a little bit more multi-kill from the World 1 stamps in the miscellaneous tab for the overkill stamp. And this is 10% more overkill or multi-kill for all worlds. So adding all of that together, we do gain that high amount of multi-kill per each monster. This has been Ice Locked with Nocturne Gaming. This has been my Death Note and Multi-Kill Guide. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below, and we'll see you next time.